It was the promise to implement sweeping reforms, reforms that would challenge Thailand's powerful institutions like its military and monarchy, that led the Move Forward Party to electoral victory. The party, led by Pita Lim Jaranrat, formed an alliance with seven other parties, including Per Thai, the second largest winner in the May general election. Their control of the lower house was not enough to make him prime minister. He needed but failed to get the endorsement of the military-appointed Senate. The Constitutional Court is also investigating whether Pita broke election laws, which could see him banned from politics for up to 10 years if found guilty. Analysts say the recent events have put the alliance at risk of breaking apart. In the end, bundling the two together, the tying will not, will not be fruitful for the arrangement, especially not only of the eight parties together, but also for the whole situation together as a package. A new vote for a prime minister is expected to take place next Thursday in parliament. Pita has said if he failed to become Prime Minister, he would support coalition partner Per Thai's candidate. That person will likely be Seta Tawisin, a property tycoon seen as a more acceptable choice to Conservatives. But Seta will face the same hurdles that Pita did in Parliament. Many senators and some elected representatives from pro-military parties have said they will not support a prime ministerial candidate from an alliance that includes the Move Forward Party. They say they don't agree with its proposal to amend laws that criminalize criticism of the monarchy. Move Forward supporters like democracy activist Somyot Pruksa Kasem Suk say they would be angry if the party, which won the most seats in parliament, ends up becoming the opposition. Supporters are planning to hold demonstrations in the coming days. There's no other alternative but to fight to get true democracy. This shows that the normal way of casting votes and expecting to get the government you want has now crumbled. For now, protests have been relatively small and peaceful. But analysts haven't ruled out the possibility they can get much larger, depending on what happens in the days and weeks ahead. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.